So hello gamers, a lot of people have wanted a ranking series of all of the rebalanced guns. This will be the beginning of the series, so please watch until the end. I'm going to explain how the ranking system works. I will be ranking these on a scale of 1 to 5. There will be no point fives here. I will have to choose between 3 and 4 or 4 and 5. Let me know which assault rifle is in your opinion the best. But yeah, let's start it off with the AK-12. The AK-12 actually got its hyperburst back, so it's very, very good. It has a fast reload time, 1000 RPM, and actually does have pretty good recoil overall. It has a few conversions, a bars barrel, and overall it's a very solid starter gun. It almost makes me want to give it a 5 out of 5, but I don't know if I should because it does have some downsides. It does do 99 assist counts, which is kind of annoying, but it does have pretty good overall damage and stuff. I just don't think because of the hyperburst nerf that this is a 5 out of 5 anymore because... Yeah, you can do this with it, but I feel like of the hyperburst guns, this is probably one of the lesser ones. I'd say AK-12 battle rifle and stuff is better for that, and it does have quite a bit of recoil with the hyperburst. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5, but a very solid 4 out of 5. For a starter gun, this is like one of the best ones in the game, especially with a full setup. Not great without attachments, but there's no reason this gun shouldn't get at least a 4 out of 5. I'm really glad the hyperburst is back, and now that it has recoil, it actually feels pretty balanced and feels a little bit more powerful before it was just laser beam that was super broken and now it's like got recoil our second assault rifle is the an94 a94 has a 1800 rpm burst at the beginning it has a 762 conversion and the damage is pretty good but the rpm is kind of on the slower side and without the conversion the damage isn't that great one of the main upsides of the gun was the fact that it had super armor piercing with not a lot of downsides the problem is super armor piercing isn't really that great anymore so that upside is kind of gone it still has super armor piercing and it's still really really good 762 is still great and the default gun has no recoil but 600 rpm RPM 32 to 24. The Scar L is just a better option for this. So I will be giving this one a 4 out of 5 as well. But next up, we have the AS Val. The AS Val used to definitely be maybe a 5 out of 5 gun, to be honest. And I still feel like it's really great, but with the RPM nerf and the recoil nerf, it's not as great. I really like it without the extended mag or full stock because it actually has a pretty fast reload time and fast handling. And although those attachments are objectively kind of better because bigger magazine, lower recoil, the handling and the reload speed is is not great. I'm not gonna lie. 90 reserve ammo is not fun at all either. That makes this gun kind of annoying. Like, you either have 20 bullets, which is kind of a downside, or pretty trash handling and reload speed, and only 90 reserve, so 3 mags of reserve. That makes this gun kind of annoying. And yeah, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 as well. I don't think I could give this less than a 4 out of 5. It probably used to be a 5 out of 5 gun, and it's still very good, especially for a low rank gun. This is just kind of a beam. But yeah, 4 to 5 for this one. Moving on, we have the Scar L. Now, the Scar L is just so good at everything. Low recoil, 4 hit kill all ranges, pretty good damage, and RPM, actually a little bit more RPM than the AN94 while doing more damage. It has a little bit more recoil, but let's be real, this gun is a laser beam, and it has 9 mil, which is arguably one of the best, because I'm using it right now. Close range and long range weapons, even in the entire game, and like... It is so accurate. It has a 33 round magazine. And this conversion just works so well. It beams, it does good damage. The default gun, yeah, it's a three hit, well, four hit, which is kind of a downside. Not a very huge downside, in my opinion. This gun is just great. I 100 percent would recommend be buying 9 mil and if not just use it as a low rank i'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 5 which is kind of crazy like before i didn't think it was a 5 out of 5 but like my opinions have changed 9 mil is like objectively better than aug a1 para in every single way and people are like that's good well this is just better now moving on to the aug a1 the aug a1 does fire a little bit faster than the scar l however the upsides kind of end there it does less damage can't four hit kilo ranges it does have a 9 mil conversion as well funnily enough even though it's the next assault rifle on the list and the next when you unlock it also has about the same conversion however its conversion is just worse i'm not gonna lie it has a smaller magazine worse recoil worse three hit kill range it doesn't five hit kill all ranges this gun is really good but i'm gonna give this one a three out of five because the scar l is a lower rank and just does it better like it doesn't do it a ton better like this has some upsides over it but i'm not gonna lie like it, it's not bad it, whoa that was so yeah i'm not gonna give it like a two i'm gonna give it a three which is a solid for me one out of five means really bad two out of five means pretty much nothing redeemable. 3 out of 5 means decent. 4 out of 5 means very good. And 5 out of 5 means amazing top tier. And this is definitely a 3 because you yeah. could give it a 4, but because of the Scar L being a lower rank, I'm going to give it a 3. Next up is the M16A4. Before this current update, when they actually buffed the recoil by quite a bit and made it kind of kick quite a bit. And the front post, I do not like the front post. Before those couple of updates, this was definitely a 5 out of 5. Like, this one was great. That's a 4 out of 5. It's still really, really good. Um, that was not 
not a good uh, representation of that at all. It's a two-hit kill head, three-hit kill body, but it actually has pretty low recoil. Three shot burst at very high 850 RPM. It's actually the highest RPM, except for, I guess, hyperburst guns so far on this list. It's just really, really great. It's not quite as much of a beam anymore, though. It's still really accurate. I still do recommend it for low ranks and high ranks alike. But yeah, because of all that stuff I just mentioned, it's not going to be a five out of five anymore, but still really good. Next up, we have the G36, which would have definitely been a five out of five before, but because it doesn't actually four hit kill all ranges, you're probably going to be like, well, this gun sucks now. A lot of people have been saying that, like it sucks now because it used to basically be a four hit kill anywhere in the body at any range, but actually I'm still going to give this one a four out of five because it's still really good. I don't even recommend you use 300 conversion because yes, you do get a three hit kill, but this can actually four hit kill to like 175 studs and has really good velocity anyway. So it's actually still one of the um, better assault rifle type weapons in the game. Would have been a five out of five before the update. It is still great, um, but not the best assault rifle in the game anymore. Arguably before it was, that and the LED5 were probably the best and had been the best for a long time. We'll get to the LED5 later in the video, but as you can see, this is still really good. Just check it out. Like, it's still really, really nice. Next up is the M16A3. Last update, this was by far a five out of five, but because they changed the recoil again, I'm going to give it a four out of five as well. I might even give it a three. No, I'm not going to give it a three. It's still really good. Basically, last update, it had no recoil. Basically, they removed the 223 extended mag. They're like, wait a minute, it's going to suck now or something like that. So they're like, we'll give it no recoil. And then it became super broken. And then they removed the no recoil. It's still really accurate if you're pretty good with it. And with Hollow Point, it's really great. Last update was a 5 out of 5. Now it's a 4 out of 5. It's still great. It's still one of the better assault rifles, I would say, in the game. Or just all around use. However, I don't know, man. Scar L and Scar L 9 mil is so cracked. Next up, we have the Type 20. I'm going to give you a controversial tip. Mm, I don't know. Maybe kind of controversial, depending on who you are, because a lot of people really love this gun. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. It is not a 4 out of 5 gun. It is an overall very solid gun, but it's definitely because the overall stats are just kind of eh. gotta go kind of lower on the list it has 650 rpm which is kind of on the slower side and yeah it can three hit kill and kind of four hit kill torso at range however that's kind of annoying to hit scar l can just do that with exactly the same rpm pretty much without any torso hits and can pretty easily three hit kill as well this can two hit kill head but actually it's kind of a trick because it's only to 30 studs which is like nothing so yeah overall it's not a bad gun, but it's just not great. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. It is worth trying out, but it's not great. Now, the Auge 2 is really good this update. I'm thinking about giving it a 5 out of 5, not going to lie. 7.62 is very fun. 2 hit kill head to a really great range. 3 hit kill bodies are like 80 studs or something. And honestly, for 7.62, it is very accurate. Probably like second most accurate 7.62 in the game, which we will get to the first. Because there is one that is a 7.62 and somehow is actually so accurate. But yeah, basically, if you want a 3 hit kill body and a 5 hit kill at range but like no recoil check out the auge 2 and if you want even better damage then check out auge 2762 i'm gonna give this one a five out of five screw it. it's just so nice i love 762 the default gun got a recoil buff and is now very good not broken but just top tier i'm not gonna lie and this is an ak bullet gun but for some reason even though it has ak 47 762 by 39 it is absolute laser beam i don't know how next up is the k2 and this one has gotten kind of a big nerf type thing it's more of a rebalance now but basically it does way less damage but it has a torso multiplier and a little bit more rpm but because of the nerf to it basically in this update before it would have been like a four out of five originally when it came out it was a five out of five hands down it was so busted but now it's a three out of five gun it's not amazing it's not trash it's a type 20 type gun where it's not amazing it's decent there's nothing objectively too wrong with it Except I guess that it isn't really a three hit kill too often. Well, it is a three hit kill pretty often, but it can four hit kill the body in close range because it does 33, but it has a torso multi, which is kind of annoying for an assault rifle. And before it used to be a three hit kill. Where is this guy going? Dude, what? I'm going to give it a three out of five. It's not bad. Next up, we have the FAMAS F1. One. The FAMAS F1 with the Romanian Grip and G2 became extremely good before. I think you need to use like T-Break on it as well. And this gun basically becomes an 1100 RPM pretty accurate gun, not gonna lie. And also, if you run hollow point, it gets a three hit kill up close with 1100 RPM. Yes, this does have some flaring downsides, but I feel like because 1100 RPM three shot and this is just such a fun overall gun and FAMAS F1 is also great. 
great. Kind of just a better ace foul. I think I gotta give this one a 5 out of 5. The new attachments are very good to it. 3 hit kill to the body, like 60 studs default. It's 1100 RPM with G2 and a 30 round magazine and default. Literally just the old ace foul, but kind of better. So yeah, 5 out of 5 to this gun. If you haven't tried this thing out, I recommend just use default. You don't even gotta use G2, but default has 900 RPM. It's a 3 to a 5 shot. With G2, you get 1100 RPM, but it's a 4 to a 5 shot. But there's a trick where you basically you put on hollow point and it becomes a 3 hit kill again, but it does have like really bad like 6 or 7 hit kill at range, but up close it just eviscerates people. Next up is the AK-47. Romanian grip I actually tried on it is pretty good. Um a bit of camera kick not gonna lie and it's an overall strange assault rifle you could really go any way with this you could say it's a five out of five you could say it's like a three out of five i'm gonna give it a four out of five because it's not as good as it used to be it has less pen worse headshot damage no torso multiplier worse body damage and worse recoil but it's still very very good before with hollow point it was a five out of five 100 but i'll give it a four out of five next up we have the aug a3 when you really think about it it's kind of just you like aug a2762 you want aug a2762 to have a 30 round magazine and less recoil and more RPM, but a little bit less damage. Basically, that's what this is. And yeah, because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. And because the default gun is such a laser beam and still has great handling and reload speed overall, this is a really great conversion. AUG A3 300, as you can see, still has pretty low recoil. It actually has a faster reload speed than AUG A2762, even though AUG A2762 has 20 rounds and this has 30. And it's still a two hit kill head. That doesn't perform as great damage wise. But the fact that it just does about the same thing, but with less recoil, is pretty nice. And even even a little bit of bonus RPM. The default gun beams so hard. I don't know why more people don't use the default gun. Next up, we have the L85. Now, the G36, I gave that one a 4 out of 5. So, obviously, since this is basically the same gun, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5 too. Well, actually, no. Let me not freaking die. Okay. The G36 with T break is fine, I guess. However, I tried L85 T break. It is really good. This gun is strange because if you use muzzle brake, it has a little bit too much horizontal kick in my opinion. And if you use compensator, it has too much vertical kick. So overall, I just could not find a good barrel. But the T-brake reduces both horizontal and vertical recoil with not a lot of downside. So basically, yeah, you don't get as great grouping in either direction. However, you just get overall good grouping. And that's why I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Because it actually has a better 4 hit kill range than the G36. And while nobody's letting me even even shoot at them this is super accurate there we go or he killed to like 200 studs which is still really really far yeah it's not infinite but i feel like this is because of the t-brain kind of a better option than the g36 although it's still kind of debatable but i mean just beams dude just an AUG A2 RPM gun, and it's also a bullpup, but the thing about it is that he kills super far and just so little recoil. Next up, we have the HK416, which I am definitely not going to give a 5 out of 5. Yeah, old HK337 and old hollow point HK416 were definitely 5 out of 5, so that was a good flick, but this cannot be at this point a 5 out of 5 gun. I just can't give it a 5 out of 5. It's still really, really good, and I mean, pistol grip buff does kind of help it a little bit, but it's just not quite as good. It has worse min damage. 300 conversion is kind of dookie. Hollow point is still really good, but it's a six hit kill instead of a five hit kill range and isn't a direct upgrade anymore. Default gun is more or less the same and the default gun is really good. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. I could not give it any less than a four out of five, but I can't give it any more. I don't think it's worth a five out of five on this gun anymore, but still it is very good. Next up is the AK-74. I don't think I can give it a five out of five in my right mind. Um, not because it's trash, although I think it has more recoil now because I do not remember retracted stock being this much recoil. What if I just use Romanian grip? It's basically a better type 20. Same RPM, but actually can 3 hit kill pretty far. And yeah, it doesn't do as great damage at range, but it's a BM, dude. The Type 20 isn't like a super bad recoil gun, but it's like an average recoil gun. And with Romanian grip, although the recoil camerize feels weird, it's gonna beam so hard. But the thing about it is that it doesn't do anything too crazy special, but it is very, very good. The RPK 74 is just it, but better. So I will be giving it a four out of five, a very hearty four out of five, a very good four out of five but it's not going to be getting a 5 out of 5. It doesn't do anything super special enough to be a 5 out of 5, except, you know, be good overall. But let me tell you, it is good overall. I do recommend you check it out, especially with the new Romanian grip, because it's so busted with this. After this point, you actually don't get a new assault rifle for 20 ranks, which is kind of crazy. But then you get the AKM. The AKM is a lot better because of Romanian grip as well, but I don't think I can give this one a 5 out of 5 either. I didn't get the AK-47 a 5 out of 5, so I can't give this one a 5 out of 5. AK-47 was always better than the AKM. Not like 100%, but like, let's be real. 
I should not use Coyote Sight on this gun. What am I doing? The AKM is a AK-47 with slightly better accuracy, but just less damage. It used to be very good, and then it got a nerf, but remaining grip makes the accuracy pretty good. Although the AK-47 is still just going to outperform it. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. But you could probably give this one a 5 out of 5, especially before, along with AK-47 hollow point. But because of the nerfs on these guns, I don't think I'm going to be giving this one a 5 out of 5. It's still really, really good. For close range, it's great. It does hold up pretty well at range. I have like 900 kills on it. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. After this, you actually get another AK. Three AKs in a row. Please add a gun between AK-74 and AKM because that's 20 ranks. Also, these are like 10 ranks off of each other and they are like the same gun. The AK-103 does have some pretty nice upsides and because of the nerf, some of those 4-hit kill all ranges guns, I might actually give the AK-109 a 5 out of 5 because 4-hit kill all ranges 850 rpm not the best recoil but this plus the default gun being kind of just an akm but better with a long barrel which the long barrel is really cracked now on these kind of ak's that were kind of a problem with long barrel before i might even give this one a five out of five i feel like i should maybe i shouldn't give it a five out of five because i didn't give the other ak's a five out of five but bar's barrel is so cracked yeah, you know what? 5 out of 5. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. It has free armor piercing, basically. 850 RPM. The default gun is really nice. It literally drops 33 to 25 or something like that. And yeah, it's really, really good. However, I should not be using this as my secondary. Yeah, I mean, next up we have the TAR-21, which I'm actually thinking about giving a 5 out of 5 as well because of one specific thing, and that is Duplex. Because Duplex is like a free 2-hit kill head and a 3-hit kill body because... It has no spread at all. Like, that's two shots that are landing in essentially the same place. And 850 RPM, 20 round mag, but like super fast reload time. I might give this one a 4 out of 5. I don't feel like it has the same effectiveness as the AK-103 and AK-109 and other 5 out of 5s I've given. But I feel like because of uniqueness plus actually being super crazy, I'm going to have to give this one a 5 out of 5 because it's just great. The default gun is pretty nice and you can also give it a C-Tar barrel, which now gives it a 3 hit kill and a 2 hit kill head, which is a lot better than it was before have weird recoil and it's not the best for this kind of range because this is a shotgun conversion however for a shotgun conversion this has a better killing range than like every other shotgun conversion in the entire game that's yeah, a little bit different than other shotgun conversions but yeah i'm gonna give this one a five out of five my skin on it is really strange though i feel like it deserves it because it just does that now we're on to the type 58 and because of remaining grip and because i called it the type 58 because nobody cares about the type 88 i'm sorry it sucks but the type 58 has got to be a five out of five as well it is sincerely a top tier gun the type 88 by default is probably objectively the worst assault rifle in the game it does bad damage it shoots slow it's just, it's bad it's not good however the type 58 is really crazy the type 58 conversion basically just gives you better damage and rpm the downside is that you have a little bit more recoil but with remaining grip the recoil is like pretty much non-existent it's uh really really busted keep in mind this does like ak-47 damage and it's this accurate it actually does a little bit more than the ak-47 does now and shoots faster i mean ak-47 old hollow point was just better than this respectfully but 41 to 28 is really great. Great ranges. It has a long barrel. Compensator makes the recoil really nice, but I recommend long barrel because better damage ranges equals better hits to kill ranges. Yeah, it's really fair that you can just actually beam people. Next up, we have the M231. Now, the M231 is strange because before it was definitely a 5 out of 5, and it's gotten a lot worse damage, but... Pretty much no other changes you would think it would have more recoil or something like a slower reload time or something but it just has less damage and yeah it's still got like this kind of recoil and everything but it still has 150 reserve really nice velocity for a gun of this rpm very fast reload one of the fastest in the game and a fast walk speed and everything like that and super high rpm but because it doesn't have a three hit kill to 100 studs which was somehow considered balanced up until this point uh yeah, it's still not going to be that great. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, because I do sincerely feel like one of the best CQC guns in the game, but it's definitely no longer the best. I'd say personally, I prefer like the Chris Vector over it. And yeah, pretty strange. That's actually like a little bit more balanced. Next up, we have the C7A2. This thing did get a pretty big nerf because it got its long barrel removed. However, this opens up the door for the T-brake, which is very, very good. A compensator is great on it. Muzzle brake is good on it. And also, because it has so many conversions, all of which are great, sincerely, there's not a single conversion version that's bad on this list here. 223 has the same hits to kill, although lower velocity, but lower recoil if you want that. AP is pretty great overall. Three extra pen, basically. 762, which we will come back to. Hollow point, a three hit kill. It's 
still great ranges and everything. 45, 900 RPM, 3 hit kill. This thing is cracked. And 20 tack, better headshot, multi, walk speed, muzzle velocity, pen, suppression, everything like that. Tracer list, it doesn't even matter. Use tracer list, I don't care. All these are great. However, 762 is so slept on, especially with long barrel being removed because 762 long barrel used to be busted. It used to have a 334 stud min damage range. The fact that I'm not legally obligated by my own conscience to use long barrel on this gun means that this gun now has a 2 hit kill head. Guess how far that is? To 100 studs. 3 hit kill body to 100 studs. And this is a 762, but it has this recoil because of T-Break. Because I don't have to use long barrel, I can use a recoil reducing attachment. And now I can just eviscerate everything in my sight except this rank 3 with the ksg so i think it goes without saying that this is a 5 out of 5 attachment i mean gun attachment and everything like everything about this gun is so crap people are like well this gun sucks now because no more long bro i do not care i will be using this gun so much still 20 tact amazing reload time and recoil with like no downside at all this which is still a laser beam somebody tell oscar about this because this is literally the best assault rifle in the game don't even tell me it's the type 88 it isn't the type 88 it's this this is the best assault rifle this is the best assault rifle in the entire game by a long shot please somebody tell oscar sincerely no this is a six out of five gun i don't care i'm breaking my own rule i'm just kidding it's a five out of five but it is the highest of five out of fives i can possibly get next up we have the stg 44 default this gun is like a three out of five now it used to be pretty good but 556 is definitely gonna win this over to a four out of five as you can see it beams it doesn't shoot too fast and it does pretty good damage and it has a 60 round mag if you like the colt lmg but you want less recoil and a two shot kill actually colt lmg has 20 attack but still you can still get kind of the same type of thing as the colt lmg however uh no recoil at all basically i don't know it's a really good conversion i am not going to lie so for this reason, I will be giving it a 4 out of 5. I don't think it's top tier, but it's really up there. It's one of the higher 4 out of 5s I've given. Augate 2, 7, 6, 2 and stuff, and Augate 3, 300 are just this, but a little bit more RPM. Obviously not as good recoil, and no 60 round magazine. However, now we are onto the final assault rifle, the G11 K3. Just kidding, it's the K2. This thing not only has a cool reload animation, because they finally fixed the real- Okay. That's a spoiler for this uh, gun's rank. That's the rank of this gun in the comments. Which one do you think it will be? Basically, this got skeleton grip now. Uh, well, I mean, it had skeleton grip before. However, it did something to skeleton grip, which not a lot of people have been mentioning. It now makes your recovery speed 50% faster, which means any slow shooting burst, not the M16A4, but the G11 and other bursts like this and other slow DMRs are basically just better because they just recover faster because you can just shoot a second time really, really fast. So yeah, the G11 is basically better now because better handling and better recovery speed. Now, what does the G11 do? Well, it shoots three shots in exactly the same spot, as you can see. Now, this gun is able to three hit kill torso to about 90 studs, so it can one burst to 90 studs to the torso, and because of the headshot multiplier, there's a five shot to the limbs a four shot to the torso and a three shot to the head at any range and with three shots landing in the same spot you can either two burst somebody or one burst them to the head at any range think of like a sniper rifle or dmr like you can do this if you want to and it's like three studs of pen or something stupid it is so good if you have the credits this is probably one of the best pre-buy guns in the game i really like the gun i don't use it a ton but if you get this thing down it is one of the best assault rifles in the game in fact it might be the best it's kind of weird to be ranking this with other assault rifles in the game but you know if you really wanted to like for a lot of different stuff this is the best assault rifle in the game but yeah anyways that is every assault rifle ranked in phantom forces i forgot to say the rank for this it's a five out of five what did you think but yeah join me next time as i rank the battle rifles of phantom forces and yeah if you watched till the end thank you so much anyways i will see you guys in the next one peace